What's up everybody, how has your day been? And welcome to the next episode of Thursday Questions on the Apple Fox channel, a series in which I want to answer as much questions as possible regarding to Apple products. And the question of today's video is, can I put WhatsApp on an iPad? Well, this is a very interesting question because WhatsApp is used by many people. You can get it on the iPhone and you can also get it on the Mac computer. Like it works there. There is an application for this, but for the iPad, we don't have a specific application. So can you use WhatsApp on an iPad? And if you can, how can you do that? So this is something that we're gonna be answering in today's video, so let's begin right now. If this is your first time on the channel, you should begin with clicking the big red subscribe button and that way you will never miss another Thursday questions episode and any other video. So if you normally go to the app store on your iPad and search for the WhatsApp, just like you would normally do if you wanted to download some kind of application, so you go WhatsApp, you're going to search for it. You're going to notice that there isn't any specific application for this. But right now you may be thinking that, yeah, you have to filter it to iPhone applications because if it's not able to get it on the iPad and on the iPhone, it is possible. So here you should be able to find it. But the truth is that there is nothing else. Like you can get the stickers from WhatsApp, but this is probably not something you want. But still, there is a way, and a very simple way, how you can access your WhatsApp conversation and actually talk to your friends using WhatsApp on the iPad. On the Mac computer, you can obviously get the application I was talking about, but if you don't have a Mac computer and you, for example, have Windows and you want to access WhatsApp on a desktop, well, there is a service for that, so you need to go to web.whatsapp.com on your normal browser and there you are actually having the option to access the conversation on WhatsApp. And this is something what we're going to be doing today with the iPad. So just open up Safari or any other web browser that you are using. Right now it is the Safari and go to the web.whatsapp.com and this is the page that you're going to see. But this is not the page that we wanted to get to because we're looking for a desktop version. So you need to go to this share icon and here you need to click on show or request desktop site. So as you can see, this is the toggle right here and now I just have to wait until I get to the desktop website. And here we are. After it loads up, you can see that we have this quick response code. So now what you have to do is to bring the iPhone that has WhatsApp set up on it. You need to bring up the iPhone and head over to the settings section. And as you can see, this is the WhatsApp web slash desktop settings. And if you go here, you actually have the option to use the camera to scan the QR code. So let's do it again. And now it has been so quick. And right now on the iPad, I have the option to use a regular WhatsApp. If I would have any conversations here, it would show up here and I could use it normally on the iPad. But it doesn't end here because it's not really convenient to use it through Safari or through a web browser. But luckily, there is an application for that on the App Store. In the beginning of this video, I said that there is no specific WhatsApp app that you can use. And I was completely right. Like there is no WhatsApp application, but there is a third party application for web WhatsApp. So you basically are accessing the very same thing that I was showing you before, but you're doing it through an app and you're not doing it using Safari. So this is the application I was talking about. It is from a third party developer. It's not from WhatsApp. This is not like a partnership with this. Here we have the very same user interface and we're basically gonna be seeing the QR code that I again have to scan using my phone and I would basically have the option to access the very same things once again. But it isn't anything special, it is just the very same thing but inside the application for this. It's not in Safari but in a specific application. The application is of course free and the link will be found in the description so go ahead and check it out if you want to. But the best thing about it or if I'm supposed to compare this application with the Safari method, I would definitely go for the application because there is one big advantage. When you are using the app I was talking about, the, the one called VisPad or W. UZ pad, you have the option to receive notifications, which is something that you don't have when you are using the Safari method. So you can of course disable it if you don't want to, but who wouldn't want notifications when we're using WhatsApp? 
So yeah, this is how you can use WhatsApp on the iPad. So this would be everything what I wanted to say in this video, I just really hope that I have answered this question properly, and if I did, please leave a like to let me know. And also subscribe for more content like this, and make sure you will never miss anything important. So have a nice day and see you in the next video. Peace out guys.